In Vayakha, Moses is gathering the Jewish people. In Pekude, Moses is counting the individual items that were contributed to the construction of the Mishkan of the tabernacle of the mini temple that accompanied the Jewish people in the desert. The names of the Torah portion seem to be in conflict with each other. One Torah portion reflects the idea of unity, of bringing together, and the second Torah portion reflects the idea of division, in counting each individual. And in here we, we uncover the, the secret and the pathway to Jewish unity. And not just Jewish unity, but real unity. Unity is not made up of everybody being the same or alike. Unity comes about from embracing differences. Unity comes about by recognizing the unique talents and the unique gifts that each individual brings to the community. The unique talents and the unique gifts that each person brings to the unity. And as such, these two Torah portions are actually very much in harmony. In order for there to, to be Vayakil, in order for there to be a gathering of the people, there needs to be Pekude, there needs to be the individuals, the individual talents, the individual uniquenesses of each individual creation, each individual human being. And as such, we come together in true unity, in true harmony. So while the Jewish people are complex, and we have many differences, we all come together today to wrap the villain with the same mitzvah. We gather together to say the same prayer. Each of us with our uniquenesses come together in unity. Although sometimes it's difficult, this is the pathway to bringing harmony amongst the Jewish people. So we have Torah, tefillah, prayer,